Hi guys, so I'm here to talk today about something you guys might not all know about, um, the game Monopoly. Uh, and you see here that um, in the game Monopoly, uh, there's a space called jail. And if you go to jail, you can't pass go, you can't collect $200, you're basically just stuck there. Um, and now there are three different ways for you to actually get in jail in this Monopoly game. The first way is actually landing on one space on the board that says go directly to jail. But the probability for this is very complex, so we're not going to go into this today. But what I will tell you is that if you land on that spot, there's a 100% chance that you'll be going to jail. So let's look at our second scenario here, the cards. Um, in the game Monopoly, there are two different sets of cards. There's chance and community chest. And in each of those decks of cards, there's one card that says go directly to jail. So for each of these, we have one. And there are 16 total cards in each of these, which means if you do the multiplication out, if you multiply it by 100 to get a percentage, we will have a 6.25% chance of you going to jail if you pick up one of these two cards. It's a little higher than you might have been thinking, but we also keep remembering that each card in there is unique, so you also have the same probability of picking up a get out of jail free card. So let's move on to the third way to go into jail, by rolling the dice. If you roll the dice doubles three times, then you get sent to jail. And so, for the first roll, in order to get doubles, you have to get either double ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, or sixes. So, these are six unique rolls, and there are 36 different rolls. And so, you can simplify that fraction down to one sixth, and then for a percentage, if you multiply it out by 100, you get 16.67%. So, let's say second roll goes around. It's a new roll, but it's still the same two dice. So you're going to have, again, 16.67% two more times. So it's that same chance there. Now, since we're trying to figure out the probability that all three of these will happen, in order to figure it out, we need to multiply each of these probabilities together. So, We'll multiply 1 6 times 1 6 times 1 6. And if you do that out, multiply it by 100 to get a percentage, you will end up with 0.463%. So it's very, very small. You can see that you know it's a lot more likely that you're going to go to jail from picking up a chance or a community chest card rather than actually rolling doubles three times. But let's say, regardless of the ways, you end up in jail. So let's figure out how you can get out of jail. Um, again, we can use one of those get out of free, jail free cards, or you can pay a $50 fine and then go right out of jail. Or you can roll three times, and if you roll doubles on any of those three rolls, you get out for free. Otherwise, you have to pay the fine. So the first roll, the chance of rolling doubles, is the same as over here. So we have our 1-6 which is equal to 16.67%. So, now the second roll. The second roll is assuming you didn't roll doubles on the first roll. So if you didn't roll doubles on the first roll, that's a 5 6 probability, and then you have to multiply that by the 1 6 chance of you actually rolling the doubles and getting out of jail. So this percentage is about 13.89. Now for the third roll, it's done very similarly. You can see for the first roll, 5-6 chance of not rolling doubles, times the second roll, also a 5-6 chance of not rolling doubles, times, now here's your 1-6 of you actually rolling doubles. And this equates to about 11.57%. Now for this probability is calculated a little differently from this. In this scenario, we needed all three of these to happen. And here, over here, when we're rolling out of the jail, we just need any of these. So as a result, we're just going to add these probabilities together to get our total probability here. So if you add together 1 6 plus 5 over 36 plus 25 over 216, you get roughly 42%. So, just kind of as a little summary, uh, if you are in the game Monopoly and you're worried about going to jail, you are more likely to go to jail from drawing a chance or a community chess card. 
rather than rolling doubles three times. But if you do end up in jail, there's a 42% chance that you can roll out, and that's pretty high. So if you're stuck in Monopoly, I encourage you to just roll and wait out the three turns, because chances are you may end up getting out of jail for free.